Now, today is also Martin Luther King Jr. Day. For many, attending church was a big part of that celebration. Channel 4's Tark Minor was there for today's service at Epiphany Baptist Church in Murray Hill. He has more on how church members paid tribute to Dr. King while celebrating the president's inauguration. Well, it is something that church members here say that they know they will only witness once in their lifetime, which is why they held this special program today, a tribute to a king, civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King, and our 44th president. With more than one reason to celebrate, church members here at Epiphany Baptist pay tribute to Martin Luther King in song and dance, reciting King's I Have a Dream speech. No, no, we are not satisfied, and we will not be satisfied until the justice rolls. The church service honoring Martin Luther King Jr. was just a prelude to another memorable moment. Church members say the president being sworn in on King's national holiday is the dream realized. The dream that Dr. King talked about in the, in the 60s is a reality, not because of uh, President Obama being the first African-American president, but because of a lot of changes that have taken place. Church members held hands and prayed together before moving to the auditorium where they witnessed President Obama take the oath into office and address the nation. I think it was good. I think. He has, um, you know, insight on what he, where he wants the country to be, and um, I think he's going to pull it all together with our, with our help. Church members say watching the president being sworn in in his second term is just as emotional as four years ago. I'm only 26, year old, 26 years old, so this is something that I never thought I would see in my lifetime, especially him doing two terms. Him getting the first time, um, two terms was amazing. Considering I came up in the 50s, I think it's an honor, it's a pleasure. I really appreciate knowing that I have lived this dream and I have a lot of work to do. Church members say if it wasn't for Dr. Martin Luther King's fight for civil rights, they would not be celebrating Barack Obama's presidency today. In Murray Hill, I'm Tarek Minor, Channel 4, The Local Station.